now people around South Florida facing all kinds of flooding. Standing water still has roads completely covered in some places. Crews working around the clock too, trying to pump all that water out. Local 10 News reporter Laren Livingston. He is live in Davie this morning with a closer look at some of the efforts that are being made there. Hi, Laren. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Christy. And I just want folks to know that if you did not wake up on a street that looks like this, you are fortunate because a lot of folks here in this community here in Davie are waking up to flooded streets, flooded driveways, flooded cars. In fact, we saw school buses that could not even get into communities here this morning on the last day of school for many of these students, no less. Lots of folks had to park their cars off of uh, Southwest 130th Avenue just because they could not get to their homes or to their driveways because of the rising water. Um, and all of this is now an issue for public works crews, which we just saw come down this street here, Southwest 7th Court, just a few minutes ago because of all of the water that has kind of overtaken these roadways. We want to show you some video. All of that rising water is what prompted the American Red Cross to actually open up a family reception center, not so much a shelter just because of the size, but a place where they could receive people just in case things got even dicey or overnight. They wanted to make sure people had a place to go to warm and dry. They had food and cots set up for folks just in case they had to be displaced or were displaced from their homes. But they tell us this morning that thankfully the good news is that no one was forced to take advantage of those services. We also this morning came across ducks just swimming across the roadway. Roadways turned into rivers in one community. One poor girl even had to wrap the lower half of her body and a garbage bag, bless her heart, just to get out of her front yard and down the roadway in order to catch her bus to get off to school. And just a few yards away from where I'm standing now, Paradise Way is another community, a mobile home and manufactured home community. A street in Paradise Village there um, was flooded. There's a lake there. You can tell where the lake ended and where the roadway started. And one resident we talked to who lives here, she says this is something she has not seen in years. I live in Port. 12 years here, never see the water, never. 12 years here? Yes. Never seen it like no, this? No, no, no. And back live here, of course, we did stories yesterday. I recall just talking about how dangerous it is because you don't know what's kind of in this water. I'm hearing reports that one of the gentlemen who lives on this street may have had a septic failure. So you have sewage and things like that in this water, which is why folks recommend the officials recommend not going out in here if you don't have to do so, especially if you're planning on wading through this, walking through this or even swimming, which we have seen in the meantime. Like I said, we've seen public works crews kind of going in and out of these communities. So hopefully they'll be working on some of these drains, getting some pumps going to hopefully get this water out of these neighborhoods. In the meantime, other neighborhoods, not even miles away, maybe a quarter mile away, completely dry. Streets dry, yards dry. It just depends on where you live. There's a canal just on the other side of Southwest 130th uh, Avenue over here that is has crested, overflowing. Thankfully, it's no longer in the street here. So if you're out and about in these certain areas, you're def definitely going to make sure you keep aware of where you are, where you're driving, take it slow, and just be very patient as these crews and people kind of work around this. For now, we're live here in Davie. Laren Livingston, Local 10 News.